Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody back to Adam 605s YouTube channel. This is the tutorial that I promised you in my chapter 8 walkthrough. Yes, when is the second experience? Well, shut up, you. Um, this is the tutorial that I promised you guys that I would show you what uh, quality I'm, uh, how I'm actually getting the quality that I did out of that set of videos. And my computer decided it's going to change its color scheme. Whatever. <laughs> So, um, what I'm going to show you guys is how I got the quality out of that set of videos, again, so that uh, if you are into recording from your Dazzle DBC100 or whatever Dazzle device or DVR device that you have, this can make it a lot simpler for you guys. It doesn't take a very powerful PC, but then again, at the same time, fraps can really kill your frame rate if you're not careful, and the other programs can get a little finicky. So. Um, slowdown is bound to happen. Um, my PC is not very powerful, actually it's a laptop, um, but it's, I, I needed this laptop, it, I, it's so much better than the other fucking piece of shit sitting across the room. But I am not here to talk about that, I'm here to show you what I did. So, everything that you're going to need will be in, shut up, I don't need updates. Everything that you're going to need will be down in the description box below, and you can find things there for yourself. Um, by whatever means necessary that you need to do. Uh, I'm not going to explain that. Anyway, um, the first program I'm going to show you, uh, actually the first two programs I'm going to show you are pretty outdated. As far as I know, I haven't seen any updates for these um, programs for a long while. And uh, they're very nice programs though. I don't know why the developers decided to kind of shut it down. But the first program is VH Multi Camera Studio. VH Multi Camera Studio is just that. It is a multiple camera source program, meaning that you can bring in multiple sources and set them around so that uh, those sources can be output into one full source to another program that can capture this source. So this is basically a source for video sources. It's like Inception. Anyway, um, <laughs> so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open this program up and click File and Add Camera. You're going to want to click your Dazzle DVC 100 video, and that will most likely come up in a video about this size. So you just grab it here from the corner and stretch it out. It is going to look like this, though, meaning that there will be black bars. So to get rid of that, you're going to want to right-click inside of the source and tick this little box right here, and it will stretch it out. Um, to the full aspect ratio. Next thing we're going to do is make sure that your resolution, this is important, especially for interlacing. You're going to want to set your resolution to 720 by 480. Don't go any higher. The reason is because you will get interlacing within your video. The interlacing is the two fields, the upper and the lower fields, that are um, going at different frames per second. So the top field could be going faster than the lower field, or the lower field could be going faster than the top field, whichever. I'm not exactly sure of the order. It also may vary from device to device. So if you go anything above 480p, it's, you're going to get that interlacing. So um, to avoid doing that, set your uh, source to 720 by 480 um, Usually uh, Dazzle will, um, will interlace anything above 240p. But um, with VH Multicam Studio, it's very good at rendering things in a very timely manner so that uh, it doesn't interlace, as you can see there. It's getting a little bit slow down, but that's because Virtual Dub, which, you know, I hope it's still recording. Yes, Virtual Dub is still recording. Thank you very much, sir. Anyway, so um, unfortunately, VH Multicam Studio is not any. Uh, is not resizable any higher than the source that, um, or than the resolution that you have actually set it, unless you were to set it to a higher resolution. If you're very good at deinterlacing and you know some programs that are very good at deinterlacing, uh, uh, maybe, maybe, then you can set it at um, a higher resolution, but then you'll also en end up getting lag most of the time, unless your computer is like the size of your fucking wall, whatever. Anyway. Um, so this is 
uh, the program that you're going to use for that. I showed you how to set up your resolution, your frame rate, and your source. Now you're going to want to tick uh, Tools and Enable Output to BH Multicam Video Capture Device. Now your device is what we're going to get into shortly, but that will uh, this enables um, these two actually enable. You want to click both of these uh, to allow another program to output or to use this as your input. So VH Multi Camera Studio is going to be your input for another program. Get it? I sure hope so. Uh, next, you're going to want to get audio. Now, to get audio, you're going to want to right click inside of this window again and click Setup. Then go down to Crossbar. This is the crossbar properties for your Dazzle DVC. 100 and above, whatever. This is for the 100, as you can see. I'm using the S video cables for my Xbox 360. Um, you'll get much higher quality from the S video than you will the actual um, yellow video cable, which is actually connected to my 40, 52 inch uh, fucking HDTV um, that I was recording with my Droid X. And let's not even go back that far. And uh, but anyway, if you use the yellow cable, you're gonna end up getting a lot of fuzz, and it's not gonna look very pretty. Not very pretty at all. Um, even with this program, and this program show shoots out the quality that you should get. Um, you're gonna click output here and go to audio decoder out. Uh, usually this will not be selected, but um, you're gonna want to make sure that the audio line in is selected here in the input that will allow your red and white. Uh, cables connected to your Dazzle to out uh, to input uh, the audio source to your computer and through your speakers. But there's a problem. You can't actually hear sound from your computer with this program. This computer, uh, this program doesn't output sound itself. You're going to need a program that will output sound. What we're going to use here is VH Capture, another program from the VH family. You go away from the moment. <coughs> This program is uh, pretty much the same as VH Multicam, except it only uses one source. And uh, it's not very bad, not very bad at all. But this is the only reason that we're going to use VH Capture, and that is to output sound from your speakers. Now, you're going to want this program to just lie in the background. There's a recording option here. If you can see this, which I'm sure you can, it's very, very pixelated very pixelated. It does not look very pretty at all, even at the lower resolutions. And uh, it's gathering, pretty much gathering the um, this as you, its source and uh, cutting the um, quality in half. So pretty much all you're going to want to do with this program is make sure that your video capture source is set to VH Multicam and that your audio capture source is set to your Dazzle. You're going to right click inside of this and click Force Audio Rendering. You're not going to be able to hear it right now from my computer unless I turn my speakers up, but I'm not going to do that for you. But there is indeed sound coming from my computer. So now, if you pr pretty much if you wanted to, you could play your uh, Xbox 360, PS3, whatever your, your uh, device you have connected here um, directly from your PC. If you put it at a lower resolution, then this is going to make uh, a bigger. This is going to be a bigger screen for you. <coughs> and you can actually play from here. Um, without the recording, I get no frame skips. None. I get a uh, constant 30 frames per second. Very, very nice. And um, it works out pretty well. Uh, again, uh, with the frame rate set down to 29.97. YouTube. So, now that we have that all set up, we're going to want to open Fraps. Now, I did mention that I was using Fraps in uh, my recording. <clears throat> of my Dead Space set, Chapter 8, Search and Rescue, by the way, go ahead and check it out, ignore that, uh, <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, you're going to want to set uh, Fraps up to actually gather this as its source, as you can see, the frames per second counter is, a, is up here, that is because um, Fraps actually recognizes this as a uh, format that it supports and can actually stream this and record this whole screen. Again, the, you're only going to be recording this screen so your VH capture can just lie in the background. If you actually minimize VH Multicamera Studio and were to use another program that um, v, uh, that 
as VH Multi Camera Studio as its uh, input, you're going to get lag. It lags for whatever reason, but this screen needs to stay up, especially because uh, Fraps needs to record this screen. Anyway, you're going to want to record uh, sound. If uh, you don't have Windows 7, then this isn't going to be here. Um, and then again, I'm not sure. I haven't used Fraps on anything else other than Windows 7. Um, but you're going to want to, act, uh, whatever option that it has, you're going to want to record sound from your computer. Uh, that would usually be uh, the volume mixer, or not the volume mixer, the, uh, oh, what is it called? Stereo mix. That's it. You're going to record from the stereo mix or Windows 7 sound or Windows XP sound or whatever the hell it says for anything else. Uh, you're going to, if you're doing commentary with your videos, you can record from the microphone, which is always handy because sitting there watching somebody play a freaking video game with no commentary is kind of boring. I don't watch anything on YouTube without commentary. I really don't like to. Why? Because commentary can be fun. It can be a lot, it can be hilarious, it can be intuitive, plus it also gives your viewers a demonstration and somebody uh, to interact, well, well, you're not really interacting. It's a video, you know, so you're not really interacting with anybody. But it gives your viewers um, a sense of uh, not being alone, you know? You got somebody talking to you and telling you what's going on. That's, that, that's why um, I do commentary with my videos. I don't like to be. I don't like to be alone when I play video games. When I want, when I want to watch somebody play a video game, I want to have them with me. You know, I don't want to be alone. Really, nobody wants to be alone. You don't want to live as a hermit for the rest of your life. Anyway, I'm digressing. Um, set it to full size if you have a powerful enough PC. This will actually output in 720 by 480. And set it again to 29.97. Um, you can lock the frame rate. Uh, and hide the mouse cursor, please hide the mouse cursor, please hide your mouse cursor. If you're actually outputting this, a lot of people have a tendency to click in here and let their mouse sit. Well, then your mouse is going to show up in the video. Don't do it. <laughs> um, basically, that's it. You hit F9 and you're good to go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I plan on doing some more dead space shortly when my throat clears up um, I will also do another video showing you the settings that I have from Sony Vegas up here hello Sony Vegas I'm studio HD platinum 10 um, and show you what settings that I use for that these videos are everywhere for Sony Vegas I don't even know if I need to put a video up for that seriously they're fucking everywhere go find one you don't have to come to me. But, if you would like, I'm going to put up a video instructing you yet again how to set up Sony Vegas so that you can get either 1280x720p or 720x480p. And, uh, yeah. If you um, actually output your video from Sony Vegas, if you already know how to do this, you can output it to 1280x720 without too much quality loss. If done correctly. And it looks fucking amazing. It really does. I have actually um, output a couple of videos uh, into 1280x720, but because of the file size and, uh, well, still running off of fucking cell phone internet to even do anything with it, um, I do 720x480 just for those reasons. I am going to be getting internet shortly um, that will be much higher speed, yay, than it is now. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video yet again, and... Uh, look out for my video explaining you how to use Sony Vegas again. Catch you guys later.